Hi friends. Let's talk about a story that motivated me. I read this article and I feel I I should make a video out of it. It talks about year 2003. In the Cape Town Medical University, the world renowned professor David Dent announced the name Hamilton. and the entire auditorium stood up for a man given the biggest honor in medical science the master of medicine who is not even a doctor not even illiterate not even literate he doesn't know what education is he would not know the difference between the words he was not an mbbs not a surgeon but trained 50000 surgeons in a career spanning of 50 years how hamilton was born in one of the villages moved on to cape town medical university just that because he had to sustain his family earn some money so he started working in a tennis court his responsibility was mowing in the tennis court every day He kept on doing it for three years. One fine morning, the first change in his life came. Professor Robert Joyce, a very famous person in the Cape Town Medical University, was doing a research. Giraffe with this long neck. When he turns the neck, why he does not have a convulsion? Was a medical enigma. because if you have such a big neck and you turn it there should be a scissor in the brain the research had to start problem the giraffe can be knocked down but somebody had to hold the neck hold the head he went out and there was a tennis court and a strong stout man was mowing it robert joyce said will you hold the giraffe for me this man said yes his name was hamilton hamilton for 8 hours was holding the neck the doctors who were doing the research took tea breaks but hamilton was holding it 8 hours robert joyce was surprised this research continued for 3 months every day hamilton was holding the neck doctors were having tea and research but hamilton was holding the neck after 3 months robert joyce realized that this man should be in the operation theater as assistant he was initially given training of a lab assistant and finally he became the ot assistant he acquired the skill of stitching the skin so good that the surgeons after finishing the surgery will give him the wounds to suture he would do that 50 in a day he acquired the skill with practice in 1958 the second change came in his life when dr bernard in this university thought about heart transplant when he saw this man he understood that he had something special he was taken into the core team of the first ever world heart transplant hamilton started training junior doctors next 12 years hamilton trained junior doctors took their sessions as assistants how to achieve good results but the third big change came in 1970 when during the liver transplant hamilton discovered an important artery which had so much to bear in the success of a liver transplant the trained qualified people were shocked at what hamilton spoke they could not believe that a person who doesn't know how to read and write spoke about this vessel till this date if any person after a liver transplant opens his eyes hamilton's soul 
smiles from heaven and there is an unsaid thank between the two hamilton would get up at 3 o'clock in the morning walk 14 miles will change and be in the operation theater at 6 am people valued his sincerity so that they would set their watch because it's 6 am hamilton entering it they used to call it the hamilton time hamilton became the first one to serve cape town medical university for 50 years he never took a break not even a single day he in 2003 was given the award of the highest medical reward and you know why because of only one thing that yes to dr robert joyce that he will hold the neck and the head of the giraffe imagine if that day hamilton would have said no hamilton understood the difference between the job and the work every youngster in the world today goes for a job they don't look for work the day they start looking for work you will have one more hamilton you will have more nobel prizes